Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, f first in a series of how to build a post and beam barn. Um, this is a barn that we built last summer. It was actually turned into a barn home and we did a lot of videotaping and taking pictures and documenting the process and we've put a few videos up on YouTube um, but uh, this is going to go into more detail and uh, hopefully this will help you guys uh, make your projects a success and uh, uh, let's get started the first and uh, most important step to building any barn project is to have a good set of plans. Um, you can get your plans that uh, to build whatever barn you'd like um, from our barn plans library uh, and uh, uh, you, there will be a link in the description or um, or if you sign up for our email list you'll get a link in, in, in uh, email emailed to you where you can go and purchase the plans. Okay, this uh, video is going to cover how to set up uh, and lay out your U brackets and posts uh, to get started with your project. This is a very important step. Um, it's important to get this right, uh, get to all the measurements right, make sure all these U brackets are lined up with each other because if they're not um, it'll throw your whole project off lining these U brackets up correctly is critical um, you can see we took we took several hours to do this and make sure we do it right um, it's important to check and recheck your your strings make sure everything's parallel and we will get more in depth with that as uh, we go through this video but uh, um, just make sure that uh, that you do this carefully. Um, the work that you do on this day, this first day, after the concrete's board, is going to set you up for the entire project. So um, you can save a lot of time in the future by taking time on this day. Uh, don't get in a rush. Make sure you take your time and lay everything out correctly. Um, you can see here that at this point in the process we had already put up these batter boards which you can see I will uh, zoom into that I'll show you another picture here here are the batter boards um, here's one example uh, all it is is basically a uh, uh, three two by fours and you can't see the third one I'll find another picture but uh, with uh, that are roughly outside of the corner this would be the outside corner of the barn um, these are outside of the uh, perimeter of the uh, uh, barn itself so it's best to lay these out you kind of uh, you can kind of eyeball it with a tape measure and, and get these in the approximate location and then you see these nails here um, you use these uh, you, you basically use strings and um, approximate where the, the the first wall will be with the strings you got you know four sets of these batter boards throughout the on, on the four sides of the foundation and uh, lay out these strings where approximately the, uh, the the outside wall will be and then square off of that for this string here you can see where you know the, the nail here is in quite a different place than the nails here because our you know the person that set these batter boards up um, you know they they were a little bit off so but that's why they make we make these you know two feet wide so that so that we have room in here to move the string wherever we need to to make the 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 square that we're creating with strings not only not only square you know at right angles to each other but um, 
but also make them to where they are the correct dimensions. So um, the strings need you need to lay them out to be um, initially to be the exact size of the barn. Now that will be as it's printed on the plans. That will be uh, the whole measurement. So say this barn is a you know just for an example 36 by 50 outside the the 36 by 50 dimension is to these posts so it's the outside of the post to the outside of the post 36 feet wide outside of the, this post the outside of the other post 50 feet long so that's the where where you need to set your strings up to be and then you need to keep in mind that this is you know this u bracket is not exactly the same as the post because it's a quarter inch thicker um, so you're going to want to set the uh, U bracket on the outside of the string but we'll get more detailed in that basically first you need to just set up this uh, batter board so that it's it gives you the 36 by 50 dimensions or whatever the dimensions the outside dimensions of your particular barn are you can find that information on your plans Here's another snapshot of the batter board, and you can see the two strings with the nails. Uh, let's see if I can zoom this in a little bit. You can see here that we have um, two nails. These represent the outside dimensions of the uh, um, of the barn, and, and you can see where these nails cross. This is the corner of the barn. Now if you need more detail on setting up uh, batter boards and uh, you know laying out a foundation, uh, there are more videos available on YouTube that, that go into detail on this. I may produce another video in the future, but there are lots of videos on, on how to set up. This is basically the same for any type of construction, so um, it'll work. Uh, you know just as well for post and beam as it does for laying out any kind of uh, building so um, but anyway what you have here is you've got three two by fours that have a sharpened point that you can uh, that, that you attach across uh, across two by four here or a tie to tie them two together and then uh, pound these into the ground and then you've got another 2 by 4 that you attach to this one and then pound this other stake into the ground and make this uh, make sure that you make this batter board this top ledger here level so use a torpedo level when you run that into the ground basically it's best to just drive the stakes in first and then attach the boards to level after that um, it'll help with the layout of your project in the future okay now here you can see we've got the strings laid out and now we are um, we are lining up our U brackets and laying them out to um, to begin to uh, you know set up our posts um, it appears in this photo that the the line the string is right up against the edge of the bracket but that's not the case this string is actually, um, I think, an inch and a half away, or two inches away, I can't remember exactly, but you need to set this up to where this is the outside of the post, not the outside of the bracket. So if you have a 6 by 8 post here, uh, you need to set this bracket up so that it's centered in that post. Um, so this uh, tab of the plate is five inches so yes this would be an inch and a half from the string so five inch or eight inches which would be an eight inch post this way minus five uh, leaves three uh, three inches on each or three inches between the two sides uh, so you divide that by two uh, so you have an inch and a half sticking out of post sticking out of this side and an inch and a half sticking out of this side now, this particular post, I believe, was a 6x6. Six six. So instead of going inch and a half, it's a half an inch because this is a 5-inch wide bracket. 
and then the post needs to stick out a half an inch you know to be six inches on each you know each side of the bracket so um, set the bracket so that it's half inch away for six by six an inch and a half away from the string for a six by eight and then you know six by ten and six by twelve uh, the appropriate width so six by ten would be what two and a half something like that so now once we get four U brackets set up in this manner um, we just do the first four uh, with the batter boards and make sure that those are in the correct position then um, we make an important step and we take the strings down from the batter boards and attach our strings to the four corner U brackets and that way we can um, we can line everything up off the U bracket so we don't have to measure an inch and a half from the string every time we can just line our bracket up with in the correct position okay um, in this situation we ran the string on the inside of the U bracket in this direction uh, because that is the same um, the same as where the post edge is located so really in this direction you can leave the two strings that are running uh, parallel with the U brackets so these would be the gable end strings um, you can leave those on the batter board because those will be in the same position but when you line up the uh, the brackets themselves run a new string on each row um, of posts on the outside of the uh, of the U bracket. That way, you can just go down the line and set up all your U brackets without having to, you know, measure an inch and a half from each one. It saves a little bit of time. Just just keep in mind once you get this string, um, you know, this this row of U brackets set up, you'll be taking the string back down and then putting the string back on the batter board so that you can line your posts up in the correct position. So um, that is uh, a little trick that we use to save a little bit of time. Um, so here you can see how we lined up all these U brackets to the string in this row. We do that with each row of posts that we're going to uh, install. And, uh, and then we attach these U brackets to the foundation. At that point, after we get finished with that we will uh, start installing posts the next video in this series will be showing you how to install the U brackets and put the wedge anchors in and uh, attach those to the concrete piers um, stay tuned for the next one uh, if you like this video uh, click the thumbs up if you want to see more uh, there is a playlist on YouTube here that uh, shows some a little bit more kind of snippets of the process um, there's a uh, u-bracket installation video already on YouTube um, but we are going I'm going to the next video in the series I'm going to go in a little bit more detail and I'll have a little bit more better sound quality because we have a I have a better mic microphone now but anyway we will uh, catch you on the next video if you like this video click the thumbs up um, and uh, stay tuned will be a lot more videos like this coming uh, by the time you get through this series you will be uh, well versed in how to build a post and be barn from the foundation up so if you need U brackets um, for your barn or T plates or any of the hardware that you see in this video you can get that from us at barngeek.com or by calling our phone number at 888-835-1466 or um, uh, emailing us at info at barngeek.com and we offer complete hardware kits for all of our plans uh, you, we have listings for tools, the, any tools that you see in this video series that you, you need to purchase 
will be available through our uh, website and that'll be I will put a link in the description for that and uh, if you need a full kit where we pre-cut all the angles and uh, mount these uh, mount the t-plates on the the beam ahead of time uh, we can provide those as well as long as you are in uh, our shipping zone our local shipping zone uh, right now that is for within 400 mi uh, 400 miles radius of uh, our uh, central Michigan location so at any rate um, like I said if you like this video click the thumbs up and we will catch you on the next one have a great day